Welcome to all of you in the series of learning S1 Plus and in this video we will learn how to calculate heat of vaporization of a pure substance using S1 Plus. For this open S1 Plus and click and click new here and then choose blank simulation and then choose create option. It will load the workspace in the few seconds it depends upon the specs of your PC. So finally the workspace has been loaded now we have to add the component means the species for which we want to find heat of vaporization. For me I have to find the uh, heat of vaporization for the water so I have plugged in water. Click enter there are a lot of ways by which you can add uh, component in this table so it's depend on you. Now click method and under method choose the suitable method that fits better to your component. In my case steam NBS is the best for water. So I will definitely select steam NBS. Okay. Now hit the next button. Now you are done with the property tab. Click OK. Now click simulation. Now you have entered into the simulation environment. Next step is to create a simulation and just run it to get our desired answers. So click on the separator here and choose flash 2 separator. Now we have added the flash 2 block here. Now we have to add material stream to, the bl to our block. Okay. I have to add the product stream now and it is the bottom product ok. Click on this arrow to come back to the normal click mode. Now we need to rename this feed stream so that we get an idea after seeing the stream what is flowing into our system. So in my case I will name it water ok. Now we have to specify the condition of this input stream for this double click on the stream and select here vapor fraction and here select pressure. Now plug in the value for the pressure and also for the vapor fraction select 0 ok. Now enter the amount here I am uh, putting 100 kilo moles ok. So click next button. Now we need to specify the input values for the block that is flash 2 separator. For this choose vapor fraction here and here choose pressure. Here it is basically asking you for the pressure drop. So select here 0 and for this choose 1 ok. Right. Now come back to the main flow sheet and let me check the conditions of this water stream. That is 100 percent right ok. Now uh, we are done with the input values of this simulation next step is to run it. So click home button and then click run ok. It will take some time and load the results. Here you can see that the results are available ok. Now scroll down and click on the result summary and then choose models. Double click on it and you will get the results. From this table choose heat duty. This one is the amount of the heat that is required to vaporize 100 kilo moles of the water. So this one is the basically value of the heat of the vaporization of the water. In this tutorial we have learned how to calculate heat of vaporization of the water using Aspen Plus. 